Hello everyone. The Dynamic Block Snippets app will help in filter the blocks by domain or manual. Here, user can create a dynamic block snippets. One can create and own custom as per their need. User defined filter can also be made. It will help you to improve and search engine result. It will easy to filter the blocks by domain and manually. Dynamic domain can also easily made. Manually block can be selected for each and every tab. One can set and limit in each and every filter. No other special configurations are required. Install it and use it wisely. After installing this module, we need to do some configuration. So let's get into the settings. Under technical, we need to search for and user defined filters. You can see the user defined filters right away here. Let's get into that. And here you can see that I have created some filters which is based on and blog post, okay, which is based on the model blog post. And uh, let's get into the one which I have created before. And this particular filter is for filtering based on the active blog alone, okay. And like the same way you can see and other blogs like this filter is made for published blog, okay. So it will display only the published blog. And you can see the company info based filter. So it will show the title which will filter the title based on the company alone. Okay. So let's set an equal to or contains. Okay. Contains and okay. Let's add an company. Okay. So here you can see that I have added the company. Okay. So if the title having the company, it will show all those records. Now let's save this one and uh, here like the same way we can create multiple one now you can see that based on the domains we can filter it out okay so once created and user defined filter we need to set this filter on an another website configuration so let's get into the website under configurations you can see and dynamic block filters okay so here we need to create a new filter so let's um, get into the one which i have already created so here you can see that I have simply created an block filter in the name and here you can see and filter type as domain and manual. If it is domain, we need to add in filter which we have created before. Okay. And if it is manual, you can just select a manual right away here in this dynamic block filter page. Okay. So now as it is, you can just use a domain. Okay. And here you can see a display type will be in tab. We can display this particular blog based on the tab and also we can display this blog based on the slider okay now let's save this one and get into the website to see how it actually works and here you can see the limits so we can set the limits as well here you can see that uh, we can set a limits for each and every um blocks that we have added okay so if it is a two you can see a uh, two blog alone if we have five it will show only the two based on the limit okay now let's get into the website page and here you can see the blocks okay and uh, here we didn't add that filter which we have created okay this is the filter that we have created so to add this filter into the website now just get into an edit and we need to search for and dynamic blocks and here you can see the dynamic blocks and let's drop down here and when you click on that it will show the blog list okay this is the blog which we have created so let's add and save this one now you can see that there will be a two blocks that we have added and let's add an another more by uh, getting into that that uh, it will show an company info okay now uh, let's select foreign company here company info based filter and let it be zero and let's save this one and get into that website page here you can see the company based one okay so Let's get into the all where you can see there will be an four published one. So here you can see the published. So you can see only the published one based on the filter configurations that we have made here. Okay, on the filter page. And here you can see the active blocks. So these are the active blocks. And you can see the company one. So which will filter based on the company title. Okay, so you can see the title. There will be a company tag. You can see those things right away here okay and you can see all those things so one okay two three and four there will be a four company you can see those four right away here based on the title it will be filtering okay and we have the other options like you can just use a manually so if it is manual we can select a block like um there i have created only two blocks 
okay for sample and for the rest of two i didn't select any block so let's save this one and get into the website page here you can see that the selected one will be shown in this page website page okay this is for manually if it is domain it will be filtering based on the domain okay and you can see the tab let's get into the slider now so if it is a tab you can see those things in the tab way okay and if it is a slider we have similar options like you can just show how many slides needs to be there for example i'm going to show three slides okay and it will be an automatic slide and it will automatically move in two seconds okay and you can use a slide or else f8 and also you can just navigate option we needed so i'm um, save this one and get into the website page and here you can see that there will be a navigation option and we set this as an automatic so we it will be moving based on the automatic way and we can set the seconds there okay and also you can see that uh, there will be a three slides so you can see that three slides will be there in each and every filter okay and you can just use a loop slide as well and also if it is fade you can just use a fade option to fade like uh, um, if you need to be uh, show as a fade you can just use a fade right okay so you can see that it will be in the fade way okay. so in this way we can make use of this module to help in filtering the blocks by domain or manual if you have any queries regarding this video you can ask in the comment box we will definitely solve your queries and if you feel this video is helpful to you you can like this video and subscribe our youtube channel for more odoo related updates to see more about and website related module check our browse info playlist to see all newly updated website features that we have added thanks for watching